It's howdy, groovy time. Okay, as you could tell by the little sample, um, this here's still country, blues, uh, southern rock, all the stuff that made music really cool um, in like the 60s, 70s, that kind of thing. But still, um, in that country vein that I like to play, uh, clean it up, it becomes Merle Haggard. Dirty it up, it becomes Skinner, or SRV, or PMS, or HIV, or no, HPV. I don't know, too many damn letters out there. But, um, simply doing little licks that I have used for 3,000 years. Uh, these have gone by in a couple lessons in the past, but never really, really focused on. So I'm just going to give you players that have uh, two or three um, ideas <laughs> in your head to um, hopefully unblock some of the ideas that keep you from going further and that will just be these take them run okay very very simple as you saw nothing that a 10 year old couldn't do then again 10 year olds these days uh, blow me away blow you away they blow everybody away. It's crazy. Anyway, let's get down to it. Doing it in the key of A because um, that's where the camera is. Kind of on this groovy axe. Uh, bought another one. It came in yesterday. Yes, you've seen this type before. 1990 Charvette by Charvel. Uh, model 300. No pit guard. None of that crap. Got it decked. I've got another one exactly this color and a whole bunch of different colors actually. Um, if you ever see one in a color I don't have, uh, so basically nuclear yellow or stark white, uh, please give me a shout. Again, the Model 300 Charvette. Okay. Um, so in A, uh, just typical A, D, A, up to the five chord E, holds it, holds it, and then goes back to the A, it does not do a turnaround. So it will be this. Okay, as you can tell, I gave the bass player a very simple line. Fricker would even be happy that um, a bass player could possibly keep that line going. I gave uh, the drums a swing thing uh, via the Digitech Trio thing down here. Bass and drums and very groovy. Okay, I always like to go to the neck pickup. So that one. Yeah. And I know I flipped you off any chance I can get. <laughs> um, this is about double stops again. Okay, for the most part. And slop is very welcome in this, which is cool. Um, the main lick I want to get across to you at first is this. Okay. Um, repetitive as you want to be. And um, you can change it up when you want to. I'll show you a place to change it up. Okay, so it's just simply 7-5-7 seven, seven on the D string. Now we're just going to do a 5 across the G and B. And you're actually kind of bending that G string up. So it makes a major out of it. So we're bending it from minor to a major third. going by so fast that you won't notice but that is what you're doing you can be as sloppy as you want or you can tighten it up like I did so from slop to tighten it up That's what we got here over across the track. Mm -hmm. 
With that, we can go on the four chord to the D. We don't have to change it. It sounds perfectly groovy the way it is without changing it, even though when you go to the major, when it does go to the D, um, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to change at all, which is cool. I will change this time, and same thing. So just go into the G string B string both on seven when the progression goes to the D. I will tighten it up so you can hear the band underneath me or whatever they are. <laughs> chase the chord. If you go up to E, it's going to sound okay if you go up there, but by that time it's getting really boring, or if you're doing something else and you run into, you stick that in, um, instead of doing all these in a row, then it will sound um, like you just went somewhere new, okay? Uh, of course, uh, you could play the through the entire chord progression and never be out of sorts okay so that's a very groovy one to do um, the other chord I want to show you everybody knows it it's the Hendrix chord okay everybody loves to play this which is this okay all of it so you can do like Hendrix does which we all love to do or whatever the hell you care to do. I'll do an example. So you got open E. Okay, you look at the fingers for positioning. You've got seven, six, seven, eight, open. Again, here you can slop it. Sloppy is groovy. So let's just lay this down, the whole entire thing here lesson beginning to end sloppy or sloppy seconds or tight and uh, rejuvenated tight uh, yeah there's operations for that okay I love that there's loosey-goosey okay. lots of ghost notes Nice to hear that not quite muted thing. Gives you that sound that your Marshall's on 20. Okay, so that in along with the first F. thing about hitting the uh, play line okay um, was every other beat in there and as offbeat or as beat off as you can between 
um, the beats on the chord again. <laughs> Eight acoustics above me at least and they're all out of tune it sounds like resonating and um, anything that's out of tune okay after this whole thing I'm going to take it straight to the standard lick from call me the breeze go check it out um, a7 <laughs> okay simply a7 which is going to be on G string, B string, E string, going 9, 8, 9. And you can add as much of the individual notes as you want to. So, or add in the high string with it. So make it sound the way you want. Play it with your fingers. that way you would normally want to do a seventh when it goes to the D you know go to seventh song everything sounds great um, this here again very sloppy okay the big thing there is to possibly break it up right before you uh, switch up to the four chord as you heard like this okay so you just oh those sound great up there don't they i'm gonna leave it like that and not tune them just because it's so flippin dissonant and that's groovy um because they say so so that's Call Me The Breeze, Leonard Skinner, it's just there in one part. And um, another thing is to go down chromatically <laughs> on your G and B string. quicker to way a quicker way for me to get to it is to go to that one if I'm going to utilize the high E string okay and again when you go up to the D if you're hammering away at these A's okay R is R is <laughs> okay you can go that way to the D high A on there or do what everybody else would do from here okay so you're going from A7 to D just by simply making the A shape chord 7th fret um, 2, 3 strings whatever you want to do but just add something on the high E string at the 8th fret same thing just do that and then seventh okay so I don't really need to go over that again but it's uh, a staple in the navel so you don't get fatter or if you remember hustler magazine it always staples right through the navels it was kind of a law okay <laughs> You could tell what life was like in the 70s at Scott's house. Yeah, rip off Dad's Hustler magazines. Okay. Yeah, those are worse than Penthouse and Playboys. Those had 
supposed class, but Hustler, um, that was way out. You had Beaver Hunt at the end of it. <laughs> you just have to, I don't even know if it's online. Uh, if you're that kind of weird, go check it out. Um, pure trash at its finest. Okay, now, um, others of these that are really cool is just the simple uh, thing that goes all the way down. <laughs> My bad. Okay. And you can add these in anywhere, of course. There's A at 14, 14. We're going to just do simply G and B string. 12, 12. Now we're at 11, 10. You can, um, I would say, go down one more time to uh, 9 and 8. And then from the D. A seven and seven. Now chromatic um, from six and five. Then A. So you have. Okay, so you have this. Now, if you want to do the five chord, which is E, back to the A, it sounds awesome, okay? So, either way sounds great, but I like it going from the five chord back this way. Country players, you already know this, but you can play all three. Just a minor. Okay, but that's... On how big you want to make it, okay? So you can do minor chords there after the E and D or two. Okay, you're hearing all your favorite licks right there. Okay, so I'll do um, one of these typical licks. I'll go back to the um, Skinnerd thingy and then pop down from the E. Maybe even part of it. Nice one there, slide into it. As long as you're there, you're still in E. Okay, so I'll do it that way, because you've already heard the others. So Simply again, 14, 12, 14. Going all the way up to 17, which is looking like a C bard. Any of them you can use, you're back to the. So you can pick up what you want to use. Somewhere there's slop, slop, slop. Okay, that one really got sloppy. Somebody, cowboy! <laughs> I did not say cowboy. Okay, so that is another way to do those. Okay, and um, the other very obvious thing before I get out of here is um, just the single notes. Okay, uh, all the single notes, all the single notes, all the single notes, all the single notes. <laughs> yeah, I have a taken anything yet today um, and that's I'm still in D now back to A E and it's so stupid 
good that it works and I'm going to go from there <laughs> So you can add these other notes in the scale that do work. And they work cool, if you are cool. together okay and I'll tie one more thing in in a second we haven't done yet keeping them in tune in the desert anyway yeah if I sweat in this room uh, humidity goes way up um, sound like Phil X humidity goes way up yeah baby <laughs> uh, love you Phil you're awesome anyway keep your hands to yourself always put it in there because people know it and they don't know what the hell you're playing but they know they've heard it <laughs> Okay, so that, so... <laughs> much everything uh, in one big unit <laughs> oh god I need some uh, something to uh, tie me down anybody <laughs> if you got a sister tie me down once again check out uh, I know I look for every single possible thing of these guitars again the model 300 Charvel Charvet um, every single day twice a day I look over every possible place for sale but if you have one uh let me know um two 250 bucks average price for these things currently uh there's a black one on ebay right now i'm not buying it because of slight imperfections in the finish which i usually don't allow for and um what is it uh black guitars don't matter <laughs> too many black ones too many red ones good god could there be any more um anyway so there you go hope you dig it if you didn't dig it suck it and um again just good old-fashioned usable stuff that's been around since um i was a piddly little squirt on something but I made it I was the fastest swimmer that day uh, today I can't float I weigh 8,257 pounds uh, divided by pi so that brings it down just a bit so you guys be awesome I'm gonna uh, uh, pick my nose remember if you have upside down headstocks like these you can always pick the nose of a bass player next to you or ram it up as cornhole it's always fun if you have a drummer that you've been having the typical pointy headstocks and you've been banging the shit out of the top of his cymbals forever and really pissing him off by marring the 
$800 a piece symbols. Now you can do one of these and hit the bottom sides too. So you guys be groovy and destroy anything you can. It's fun. Bye.